Hank and Janet were looking forward to their first child together, but he left her after she gave birth to an ugly black baby. Years later, a DNA test revealed the impossible. Hank barged into the hospital room as soon as he heard the infant's cry. He was already ready to celebrate the arrival of his baby, but as he stepped into the room, he noticed something odd. The doctors and nurses were standing around the bed, looking very confused. His wife, Janet, was there, holding their newborn baby in her arms. But the appearance of the baby shocked Hank to his very bones. The baby was black, with dark skin and black hair. And in addition to that, he thought the baby looked very ugly. Hank immediately froze. He could not believe his eyes. His fair skin and gray eyes marked him unmistakably as white, and Janet, his blonde-haired wife, was white as well. Neither of them had any known relatives who were black. How was it even possible? The doctor stepped forward, placing a gentle hand on Hank's shoulder. He admitted that the sight was a lot to take in. The good news was that the baby was perfectly healthy. Hank nodded numbly, unable to speak. He glanced at Janet, who was still holding the baby close. She looked up at him, her eyes filled with tears. But this wasn't making any sense. Without wasting one more second, Hank turned and stormed out of the hospital, leaving Janet and the unfamiliar baby behind. Janet was frozen in shock, her eyes following Hank as he fled. She was just as confused as her husband had been. Why was her baby black? She had never cheated on Frank, not during their one-year marriage or even during the two years they had dated each other. She had met Hank in college. He was known as the smartest guy on campus because he could solve complex and nearly impossible math calculations. They had fallen in love with each other but now, the unexpected appearance of their first baby threatened to ruin everything. The nurses looked at the new mother with eyes full of suspicion. Janet knew what they were thinking, but she couldn't defend herself. She didn't understand what was happening either. The doctor was the only one with compassion for Janet's plight. He gently advised her to request a DNA test from Hank. It was the only way to settle this mysterious situation. Janet tried to contact Hank from the hospital, but she could not reach him. When she got home with the baby, she was greeted with a shocking sight. Hank had packed his bags and abandoned the life they had built together. He didn't even bother with their well-being or care to know the origin or gender of their child. Janet was devastated. She didn't know what to do or where to turn. But as she looked down at her daughter, the baby smiled. No matter what, this was her baby. And she would love her more than anything in the world. Janet named her daughter Tiana and began to raise her alone. It wasn't easy, and the single mother faced many challenges along the way. Interestingly, Tiana grew up into a beautiful young girl, a stark contrast to her strange and somewhat odd appearance as an infant. Not only was she beautiful, but she was also extraordinarily intelligent. She amazed everyone she came across with her sharp thinking. Tiana was a genius. By the time she was 10, she was already solving college-level mathematical problems. Soon, she began to win different awards and competitions. Janet was proud of her daughter. She worked very hard to do everything she could to give Tiana the best possible life, but she knew that there was one thing she couldn't give her – a father. All the time, Hank lived on the outside of the country. He was now a mathematics lecturer at a prestigious university. He never remarried because he felt that Janet had betrayed him and he began to see all women the same way. He preferred to just have fun with them, leading them on and dumping them when they were least expecting it. He was on a revenge mission and these poor women were his victims. Sometimes though, he did think about the family he had left behind and wondered what they were up to, but they were in good thoughts. One fateful morning, Hank saw something that nearly stopped his heart. He was scrolling through his social media feed when he saw a post from the university. The school had posted the winner of an international math competition. It was a beautiful black girl of about 11, holding her trophy with a bright smile. However, the real shocker wasn't a talented girl, but a woman standing beside her. It was none other than Janet, the wife he had left over a decade ago. Hank couldn't help but notice something unusual about the little black girl. He zoomed in on her picture, and then he saw it. There was a tiny birthmark on the left side of her nose. It was a detail so small that most people wouldn't notice it. But Hank recognized it because he had the exact same birthmark, also on the left side of his nose. This revelation left Hank in a state of utter shock. How could this girl share his features? 
Had he been wrong all these years, but two white parents could not have a black child, Hank's fellow lecturers noticed this confusion and moodiness that day. Concerned for his well-being, they asked him what was wrong. Hank eventually explained the situation. They urged him to take a DNA test to finally learn the truth. Hesitantly but driven by an overwhelming curiosity, Hank mustered the courage to contact Janet and suggest a DNA test. Janet was celebrating her daughter's international award, and then there was a flood of calls from people saying congratulations. When her phone rang at 1 a.m., she ignored it. She was too exhausted to take another call. But when Janet woke up the next day, she discovered 10 missed calls from the same unfamiliar number. This was highly unusual. She dialed the number, and when the person on the other end spoke, her heart skipped a beat. She recognized the voice immediately. It was Hank. Janet wanted nothing to do with him. After 11 years of silence, he was suddenly calling her out of the blue. But Hank's voice sounded genuinely desperate. He apologized for not seeking the truth earlier and expressed his desire to do so now. What he wanted was her permission to conduct a DNA test with Tiana. Janet immediately ended the call. The pain of reopening old wounds was too much for her to bear. But one thing was clear. The mystery of her child's paternity had always disturbed her. She had carried the burden of telling Tiana that their father had left and wasn't coming back for too long. Perhaps it was time for closure. So Janet called Hank and agreed to the test. The DNA test results revealed the impossible. Hank was indeed the father of Tiana. He felt a wave of horror wash over him. He had abandoned his own daughter for 11 long years. But how could it even be possible? Hank knew that the answers lay within himself because he knew Janet's parents. But he didn't know his own biological parents because he had been adopted. Hank felt a deep urge to uncover the secrets of its past. He needed to understand why Tiana had been born with dark skin, while he, with his light skin and gray eyes, appeared quite different. Hank first began his investigation with his adoptive parents before tracking down the orphanage home where he was adopted. In the old records and files, he discovered the answer to everything. Hank's biological mother, whom he had never met, was biracial. That is half black and half white. This meant that Hank, while mostly white in appearance, had inherited 25% black genes from her. Even though his light skin and gray eyes concealed this heritage, Tiana had inherited the recessive black genes from him. After more research, he learned of a rare condition called interracial hyperpigmentation, which can cause a baby to be born with darker skin than their parents. It is caused by a genetic mutation that is passed down from both parents. Hank realized that he must have inherited the gene for interracial hyperpigmentation from his biological mother and passed it on to Tiana. This discovery was like finding a missing piece of the puzzle. It explained why Tiana had inherited her beautiful dark skin from her grandmother through him. It was a part of his genetic code that had been hidden, waiting to reveal itself in his daughter. Overwhelmed with guilt and shame, Hank realized that he had made a grave mistake in the past. It was a mistake that had cost him his 11 precious years with his daughter. He was sorry, but he knew that apologies could never undo the damage he had done to his family. Janet, who had suffered heartbreak and the trials of single motherhood, wanted nothing more to do with him. But Hank was not one to give up so easily. He was determined to make things right, vowing to be the best father he could possibly be to his brilliant daughter. Despite the lost years, he was committed to making up for his actions, so he kept pleading with Janet to let him in their daughter's life. He started sending checks every month to help cover the cost of living. Although Janet initially didn't cash the checks, she later opened a bank account for her daughter and deposited them. He then started sending regular gifts like clothes, books and other items. Little by little, he proved how serious he was to Janet and how deeply he wanted to be a part of their daughter's life. His consistent efforts eventually paid off and Janet agreed to let him meet their daughter. She deserved to get to know her dad. What would you have said to Hank if you were in Tiana's shoes? Thank you for watching.